Hello, everyone. Bonjour à tous. Mr. President and fellow delegates, it's an honor to share a few words with you as we mark the 75th anniversary of these United Nations. My friends, we should have been commemorating this milestone together, in person and in a better context. But the fact that we're still doing so virtually highlights the magnitude of the crisis we face and the imperative to be united in our response. The harsh reality is that we are a world in crisis. And not just because of the last few months, not just because of COVID-19, but because of the last few decades, and because of all of us. Climate change, violent extremism, escalating numbers of displaced people and migrants, these are the crises of a system that no longer works as well as it should. We cannot wait for someone else to fix it. All of us can't wait for some of us to solve our problems. We must all take action because we are all in peril. Plus que jamais, la communauté internationale doit unir ses forces et redoubler d'efforts pour trouver des solutions et défendre un ensemble d'idéaux et de principes communs. L'ONU nous permet de réaliser ce travail depuis 75 ans maintenant. Mais notre travail ensemble n'a pas été assez. Aujourd'hui, au milieu de cette crise, c'est plus évident que jamais. Depuis sa création, l'organisation contribue à changer concrètement la vie de millions de personnes dans le monde. On a lutté contre le sida, éradiqué la variole, mis fin à des guerres et évité des famines. Les Nations unies sont devenues un filet de sécurité mondial pour les personnes les plus vulnérables. Elles ont mis en lumière des problèmes qui étaient autrefois cachés, tels que l'esclavage moderne et l'utilisation d'enfants soldats. The UN has tremendous convening power. It exposes the challenges we face and lays out solutions to them. But its ability to act, to improve the lives of people around the world, depends on the political will of the member states. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed all our lives and taken hundreds of thousands from us. It has pushed our healthcare systems and stalled our economies. It has laid bare global inequalities in healthcare, in access to food and social supports. But challenges are also opportunities. And right now, as we work to protect people, we have an opportunity to build a better tomorrow for our children and our grandchildren. The legacy of this pandemic and our collective response to it must not be one of deepened inequality or increased isolationism. As we focus on recovery in our own countries, we must remain committed to the goals and principles that were laid out at the founding of the UN 75 years ago. In fact, we have to double down on our efforts. We must work together to ensure that our institutions go further and do more, that they are equipped to respond to today's challenges and ensure that no one is left behind. Canada was there at the beginning, and Canada will continue to be there, because we know that we can accomplish more together, united as nations, communities, and people. The lives of billions hang in the balance.